Comic Con is back in the city and it started today with thousands of people streaming into Manhattan in their very best costumes. CBS 2's Dave Carlin was at the Javits Center checking it all out. <laughs> This is the first Comic Con. Um, it's fun and exciting and enjoyable. He's talking about New York Comic Con. There we go. <laughs> this event's so popular, some people are willing to crawl their way in through big crowds to celebrate everything bright, glowing, funny, fantastical and frightening in the worlds of comics, anime, gaming, and blockbuster entertainment on screens big and small. Here's Gear 5, the big balloon version from One Piece, and New Jersey's Justin Moy rocking his version of the character. I sew it all myself. I make it all myself. It's really fun. I, I love it here. I'm Freddie Fazbear. Freddie Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh yeah, put that on for us. Let's see, how's it go? Oh, gotta put your mouth on. There you are. Say hi, Freddie. It's an amazing time for the kids because, you know, they get to express themselves and dress up and just interact with all their different peers. You never quite know what will happen to you at Comic-Con. So much fun here, and everyone gets to be a star. Among the VIPs at Comic-Con are actors and directors and artists who bring to life these memorable characters. My name is Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. I'm a graphic novelist, philanthropist, and the creator of the Afro-Latina superhero, La Borinquena. Here in New York City, 1995. So this opportunity to have this intersectionality of history and culture and popular culture is ideal for us. The fans can come here through Sunday and immerse themselves in wild new worlds. At the Javits Center, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.